The following is a Candlepin Stars and Strikes rebroadcast featuring some of our most memorable programs. WNDS Sports and Tri-State Megabucks present Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Oh, look at this. Look at this! He's got it! Ready for a spare! Candlepin Stars and Strikes is sponsored in part by Washington Toyota Dodge Nissan. Looks good. Looks good. That's good to go. It's a blue. Candlepin Stars and Strikes is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to Candlepin Stars and Strikes. And welcome again here to Park Place Lanes here in Wyndham, New Hampshire. I'm Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. Last week, if you were with us, you know that Jack Quinn became our first qualifier for the springtime Tri-State Megabucks Tournament of Champions, and now, Dan, we bring in five new bowlers to uh, eventually qualify our second person. That's right. Five veterans have uh, been with us before, and uh, one of them will be the second qualifier. Varying uh, degrees of experience, though, with these five guys, and uh, you'll see what we mean when we introduce the rest of them to you after the first break. But let's uh, have you meet our two bowlers for today's show first. Our number five seed from Berwick, Maine. Meet Dan Mitchell. Okay. Dan comes in averaging 118, has a high single of 181, and a high triple of 462. And Dan has not been with us uh, for a little while, but uh, has, as Dan mentioned, been with us before. And, of course, he'll be trying to knock off our number four seed today from Plastow, New Hampshire. Another guy who's been with us many times before, Dave Richards. Okay, Dave averages 130, high single 196, high triple 470. And, of course, don't forget, we will have uh, our winner coming back next week to try and move up the ladder. Also, bonus money at stake here, $25 for three, stri uh, three marks in a row with 25 additional for each consecutive mark. Also, $250 for three strikes in a row with $250 for each additional strike. That, of course, from our friends at Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. And don't forget, also, we will have our bonus ball contest later in the show. So lots to get to during this hour. Glad you're with us. We'll take a break and come right back. Don't go away. All right, as promised, here's a look at the five bowlers who've qualified for this four-week series here on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. You already met Dan Mitchell and Dave Richards. They'll battle it out today. The winner returns next week to take on our number three seed, Gary Carrington. Our number two seed is John Plant. And sitting on top, what do you know? Who's that? <laughs> must, must be another year. <laughs> yes. Paul Berger has again qualified as the number one seed, and we'll try and defend that spot when he comes in. Dan Mitchell starting the match for us. Dan making his second appearance in singles competition here on the Winds of New England. His uh, previous effort was back in December of 1992. He was here and lost a match, a very close match, to Mike Sargent by just six pins. Yeah, a low scoring affair that match was too, but it was close. That's what he wanted to do, the second ball. Works out that diamond for a 10 box, and we're underway. Dan from Berwick, Maine, has uh, two children, a two-year-old David and a four-year-old Brittany. Dan waiting for the break, and he gets the wrong pin to go. He was hoping the six pin would take out the three. Dan works at Prime Tanning Company, does a lot of his uh, bowling at the Dover. Three, six, and seven. Try to play it on the inside when by both the three and the six, and you know, try to work this out for a nine or a ten box, and we'll have our first look at Dave Richards. And two nice ten boxes. Didn't finish my thought. The Dover Bowl is where <laughs> <laughs> is where Dan Mitchell does a lot of his bowling. Well, here's a guy who's been here many, many times. That's for sure. Dave Richards. In fact, is in his, his home uh, lanes. Does a lot of his bowling right here at Park Place Lanes. I alluded to the bonus ball contest at the top of the show. We've had two consecutive winners after going almost a year without one. So we'll have $20 in the jackpot. Since we had uh, two winners in a row, we're not going to empty the uh, barrel right away. We're going to give all those people another chance. 
for several chances. Oh, big ball and a big strike by Dave Richards. Crossed over in the one-two pocket. Thought the seven pin might stand up at first, but there it goes. Dave Richards with the first mark of the day. And there's wow. Dan's bid for his first mark. Two, four, and seven. Move the two pin off the spot a little bit. More than a little bit. That looked like it went about six inches. Ooh, it leaves the ball to the right. A little late with the delivery. Has a big backswing. Actually breaks his elbow at the top. Then he seems to correct it as he comes down through. Another 10 box, pinning well, but still looking for his first mark. have a shot at it with the 2-4. No wood available to him at all. He's going to have to do this on his own. Object pin being the 2. And that's what he got. Mm. Tough break there. Quarter of an inch either way. He's got the spare. Make it four tens in a row for Dan Mitchell. While I'm thinking of it, Dan, I'll throw in a quick reminder as Dave Richards fills his strike that if you'd like to attend a taping in person, as Dave puts the spare on the strike, we'll watch the uh, four horsemen go here on the replay. And he'll also give himself a chance for bonus money if he can put another mark up. Let's see. There oh, it is. Yes, he does. $25 just like that for Dave Richards from Emmett Horgan and the gang at Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan on Route 97, Main Street, Salem, New Hampshire. Come to Salem and save. Rockingham, Toyota, Dodge, Nissan providing our bonus money here this season on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Meanwhile, Dan Mitchell would like one mark in a row just to get something started. Yeah, he's been pinning well, but no marks to show so far, and you don't want to let Dave Richards run too far ahead of you. He just may never look back. Stretch of 10 boxes in danger here, and it'll be just a seven for Dan Mitchell, still looking for mark number one. So if you'd like to attend a uh, live taping of Candlepin Stars and Strikes here at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, we will uh, be here again the day after tomorrow, Tuesday, November 8th. And we'll be taping four shows that day, so we start around 10 in the morning, and we're here till about 4.30 or so in the afternoon, so anywhere during that time frame, if you're near Park Place Lanes. We invite you to stop down and join us. Again, that's the day after tomorrow, Tuesday, November 8th, for the next taping session here of Candlepin Stars and Strikes on the winds of New England. For those of you who don't know, Park Place Lanes is on Route 28, just minutes away from Route 93, exit 3. Head toward Canopy Lake and come over to Route 28. Turn north and you'll see it. That's a seven fill on the strike for Dave and the string of marks halts at three, but enough to get him some bonus money. And a pretty good lead after five boxes. That being 29. Dave, a little off target that time, and you don't see that happen often. No. The half Worcester right and the seven pin go out. You got a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Not anymore. And oh, boy. Just a five box. Well, Dan Mitchell with the nine picked up four pins in that box. Lead is 25.
Good first ball for Dan that time. He'll shoot at the 4-7. He really needs one to get him on track. The butterflies out. And just relax himself a little bit. There it is. Yeah, it was getting toward the time of the match where you might start to press a little if you don't get that first one. So that's a big shot for Dan right there. Now the next next obstacle is, is to a decent fill on the mark. Well, it's five, but it, I make it six. The one, the two, the nine, and the ten. Piece of wood next to the two pin, but... Not a very good angle on the No, wood. it's not. He's going to try it, though. Did he get it back there? Oh, almost. almost. Oh, great try. Not quite enough to push it back all the way for the 10 pin. And the 10 box. Oh, that'll be a 9. Oh, that'll be a 9. Over. It slipped over? Yes, that's, that's a 9. Out of my view. I got blocked. The ref was in my way. <laughs> There's a piece of wood in the... Uh, channel. Cleared away by Cindy Sissom and now Dave Richards. And let's see, ooh, almost. <laughs> Dave got the six pin to fall and almost took out the three for the strike. Three pin for the spare. Whoa. Oh boy. Threw his hands up. He knew he was far to the right, but he got benefit of the wood. Kicked the wood forward for the three pin and the spare. Tomorrow we'll, won't even remember that. It'll be just another mark. <laughs> On the fill, there you go. Takes advantage with the big nine. Wait a minute. This may be more than a nine drop. Hold on. Nope, oh, come the on, wood Dave. turned away. <laughs> Dave gave it every opportunity with the body <laughs> English back here. <laughs> uh, this time the six pin. Time will have to get it clean, and he does. Two in a row. Five marks already for Dave Richards, and his lead will go over 30 when he fills that one. And Mitchell back on the head pin, and look out. Oh, oh, oh my. Boy. You believe that? That five pin now almost behind the two. Well, this is almost like a single. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh do you believe cost. that? Well, sometimes it just isn't fair. And that really should have been a strike. Watch the ball cap the piece of wood. Oh, well, we're going to watch the first ball. Okay, it nudges the five pin, and the second wood kind of stood it back up again and rocked it back towards the two pin. Now, this is automatic. This is automatic. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you miss one like that, you know it's going to be eight, nine, or strike because it wants to make you feel real bad about missing the last spare. And this time, favorable piece of wood. And the spare. 101 in the tenth. Dan will stay up there and fill the spare in the tenth, and sit back and watch and see what Dave Richards finishes up with. And again, missing to the right is going to make it seven, no, uh, six and a half. <laughs> it will be a six, 107 for Dan Mitchell. And as you see, Dave Richards already with the lead and a chance to add to it here. Just caught a piece of the head pin and watch this. Look, look out. Oh, big break. Oh, it's oh. going to be a strike. Oh, my. Wow. And $25. <laughs> yeah, you think Dave will want to take the money for that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I know Emmett will give it to him. <laughs> well, there's the payback, That's I guess. Right. <laughs> Let's 
Seven on the strike. Gives him 137 through nine. 144, and let's make it 145. And $50 in bonus money in that first game for Dave Richards, and also a big lead after one. 145 to 107. We'll take a break. We have details on our bonus ball contest when we come back. And Dave Richards with a 38 pin lead, ready to start game two. Four horsemen left. One, two, four, and seven. Dave and that close, <laughs> leaving the seven. Takes it out for the 10. See what happened on that. He played it on the outside and the four pin just went to the sidewall and came back in front of the seven. Never had a chance of making it. Dave just sliding by the head pin that time on lane 31 and they'll shoot at the one, two, nine and 10. Dave really turns the ball over. He really relies on that ball breaking from right to left. Nine ten. I think he'll settle for a nine here. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of this match to come back next week and face Gary Carrington, who I notice is uh, here in the audience doing a little scouting. All right. Trying to find that weakness. <laughs> Whoa. Off the head pin, Dan gets a Real good break, leaving just the four seven. Couple pieces of wood, one directly behind the four pin. Dan picks it up. Well, Dan took a little while to get going in the first game, got a couple of marks late, got robbed on another mark that probably he should have had, and starts the second game with his third mark of the day. Heavy on the head pin. Looked like he should have got a better break than he has, but it's a seven drop on the spare. That's the good news. The bad news is six, seven, ten. And it looks like that wood is too deep to, to play the wood, but I don't see anything else. Now the second piece is rolling up. Let's see if he can get the two pieces of wood to move around for the six, ten. Gonna try to cap it. Oh, Great yeah. shot. Terrific shot. Maybe the only way he could have played it, Dan. Absolutely, yeah. He capped it, and the, the fear there is having the ball go around the seven pin, which it did, but the second piece of wood carry the seven. So that was a great shot by Dan. Half whistle left for Dave Richards. Dave ran it through the opening in a half whistle earlier, and he looked like he was making extra sure that he got something on that ball, but he only took two more. Oh, this is a great out, though. Nine box after all that. But still markless in the second uh, game. Still carrying a 30-pin advantage, but Dan Mitchell has put two marks up. Triangle, 2-4-5. Oh, off the wall. <laughs> See it made that way too often. Cut that real thin. Watch the two pin off the wall and benefited that wood kept it the second piece in play for the spare and takes a little pressure off Dave the second game. Now let's see if Dan Mitchell can capitalize on that great shot a moment ago. This is for bonus money. Good oh, break yes. there with the kick the five pin out. But now keep an eye on the wood. Yeah, it's way out in front and it's angled away from the seven pin. I'd want to be to the right of the red line. Kind of turn it and drive it straight back. Red line, the ball may come off the wall, but oh, that's great. It is right on it. Three in a row for $25 in bonus money for Dan Mitchell. As he gets into the Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan Bank for the first time today. 
Well, that was kind of a funny hit. <laughs> the one, seven, and eight. And a piece of wood. That piece of wood I checked, I think, think is in play. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be in play. It looked for a moment like he might have the one and the whole back row. But the nine and the ten kicked out of there. Well, he gets a break here. That, uh, that piece of wood was apparently just touching the deadwood line. One, seven, and eight, and a piece of, couple pieces of wood, I think, or just one piece to the right of the head pin. Not much happening there. But the big news for Dan Mitchell is that he has knocked quite a bit off that lead of Dave Richards, 62 through four, and we will pause right here. When we come back, Dave will be working on a spare trying to add once again to his lead. Dan Mitchell trying to come back here on Stars and Strikes. Dave Richards with the lead and with the markup as we resume our second game here on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. So glad you could join us. Don't forget, next weekend, Saturday at noon, Candlepin Skins. And then back here, Sunday at noon, for Stars and Strikes. Speaking of those time slots, there's another mark for Dave Richards. Sets himself up for more bonus money as he goes over onto lane 31. Uh, many people will really enjoy those time slots, and after this box, I'll tell you, of one of our faithful fans in Manchester who watches us all the time at Villa Crest in Manchester. Dave Richards with the shot here at bonus money now on the three, four, and six. Not quite. Yeah, my neighbors, the uh, Ken and Sharon and little Kaylee Smith told me about this fellow. And Edmund Prue of Manchester watches us every week and just loves the 12 o'clock starts on Saturday and Sunday. So, Ed, keep watching. Many faithful viewers out there, and Ed is just one of many. But well, I'll tell you one thing, Doug. Uh, when we play golf next spring, uh, Ken Smith and I will take you and whoever on. Okay. Yeah, I found a neighbor who uh, can really play golf. He's not embarrassed. Somebody can hold you up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he's not one that could use his golf score for his bowling score like you and I could. <laughs> Tough break there for Dan Mitchell. Mercy. Oh, he'll lose that pin. That went off into the channel. He was fortunate to just lose the one. That's right, with a double piece of wood there. So that'll go as a seven box for Dan. And he'll lose ten pins in that fifth box, so that is costly. He started chipping away on it, but then Dave Richards came up with that spare eight, seven. Got a few of them back. Ooh, again, not a real good break off the head pin, the diamond leaf, but he also has the 10 pin in the right hand corner. Two, four, five, eight, and 10. So after opening with three marks for bonus money, he's Run into a mini drought here the next three frames. And that'll be a six, so. Dan Mitchell just about back where he started this game now. Trailing by 36. Dave Richards through the center. He had a feeling, I think, that it was gonna be a punch. He does have some wood set up. I'll have to take both of them, I believe. Try to cap the front piece or, yeah, that's what he's trying to do and just didn't catch enough of it. And so he sets himself up for an easy 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed it. <laughs> Nine box for Dave Richards, 82 after seven. Oh, 
Oh, awesome. great ball that time. Now you called. Not, not much of a doubt on that ball. That ball was breaking right dead into the 1-3 pocket, and it was just a matter of time before they all went for the strike. That's four strikes already for Dave Richards. Three of them have been over there on lane 31. Oh, Dan gets a nice break there as he kicks out the four and the seven. He'll be left with the 6-10 for a possible mark. Couple pieces of wood out in front. Oh, he's gone way left. Ooh. Whoa, still got it. <laughs> well, Dan will take it. Change any of his expression at all, so. That's six marks for Dan. All of them are spares. Love to throw his first strike right here. Just, if he's missing, he's just barely missing to the right. Got seven on the mark. The one, four, seven left. The wood behind the headpin could cost him this shot. He's gonna go by it anyways. Look out. Almost got through there again, but he gets the eight box, 100 through eight. But Dave Richards might be able to match that if he was able to fill this strike with an eight or better. That time a little heavy. Tried to cross over in the one, two, leaves himself the three, four, and six. So Dave also at 100 through 8. And the 9 box. Okay, it's the same ball as oh. last time. Wow, it's just grooved over there on lane 31. Sitting almost directly behind him and really can watch the flight of the ball. That time was a good release, good follow through, and you saw that uh, break from right to left, right into the 1-3 pocket for the strike. Trying to make it two. That looks good again. Oh wow, what happened? <laughs> that looked like the same ball. Not enough. Seven, nine, and ten. Remember, three strikes in a row worth $250. Dave just trying to get what he can here, and it's nothing. <laughs> so it'll be a seven and a 126 for two game total, 271. A quiet 126. Yeah. <laughs> Dave just looked at us and kind of shrugged his shoulders like, I thought I'd get at least one or two of those <laughs> pins with that wood out in front. Now well, Dan Mitchell really needs a couple marks, and maybe There's his first strike? Yes. His first one. Well, maybe they're going to come in bunches for him. Cross over the one, two, and whites for the nine pin to go. Love a double strike. Boy, not that far off. Watch the wood in between those two. He hits the front pin, it's gonna almost deaden the three pin. He may have trouble carrying the six. Got it. Got it. Strike. Nice job. Two in a row. Wow. Throws a strike for $25 in bonus money. And whatever happens, he's going to be making up a little bit of ground on that lead. He'll still be trailing going into the third game, but it won't be by quite as large a number. He's at 130 plus the bonus. And it is six. 136 for Dan Mitchell, a two game total of 243. And there are your totals. Dave Richards leads by 28 after two. We'll be back with game three in a minute. All right, Dan Mitchell will start game three. Trails by 28 in the match. Dan seems to be uh, getting things together a little bit here. That's for sure. He opened with a 107, kind of struggled. 136, second game, and 
Chance for a spare here in the third. Starts it off with a mark. Throwing the ball with a little more authority. That's nine marks for Dan Mitchell. Dave Richards has ten. Now Dan on the head pin again, but a little bit too much of it that time. And that one he lofted a little further out of the lane than normal, and that's what probably would cause him to go through the middle. Two, four, seven left, three, six, and right. Trying the three, six, and good try. Good effort there. And the 10 box. So a 25 opening pair for Dan Mitchell. Dave Richards, look out. He's got five strikes already. This time a rocking nine pin, piece of wood right next to the nine. Doesn't want to cap it. Watch out. <laughs> Didn't need the wood. <laughs> Through the middle, can't carry the six pin, he'll have the split. Oh! Hey, got it, the wood in back. Helps that shot. Not quite the way I think Dave was planning on it, but he'll take it. It's a little heavy on the three pin, but he got a good kick there off the set four and seven, and coming back for the other pin for the spare. Good break by Dave. Yeah, cluster of four. One, two, three, five, and then the ten pin. That ball really got away from Dan. Got a little bit of a break here. Boy, that's a terrific nine box. <laughs> and it's 34 through three. Unfortunately, he needs terrific spares and strikes. Get back in the match. Still a lot of room. And he's gonna shoot at the three and the five. Two and the five, I should say. the spare. He needs to think about putting at least one up there every time he goes up. To try and put some kind of pressure on Dave Richards. Dave has another shot at bonus money here with two marks in a row riding. He'll have a real good chance at the two and the four. Again, he's got a piece of wood next to the two. This time he does cap it. Yep. Cost him the shot. And the bonus money. Earlier I mentioned the uh, taping that we have coming up here day after tomorrow, Tuesday, November 8th. Don't forget that that's election day. So go out and vote and... Then come over. Then cast your ballot for Stars and Stripes. There you go. Yes. Five, six, and ten, a piece of wood out in front that has to be turned ever so slightly and then driven backwards. No. Didn't get a, quite enough of the right end of the pin. Well, Dave Richards has his 38 pin lead back, but when we come back from this break, Dan Mitchell will be working on a spare to try and cut further into that lead with six boxes remaining here on Stars and Strikes. We're coming right back. All right, Dan Mitchell with a spare up and an opportunity to make a run here. Yeah, it's almost getting to be crunch time. Just four on the spare. K 
can't quite convert it. No, oh. it's a comebacking 10 box. That is a legal 10 because the ball hit the piece of wood on the way by. So it's 58 through 5 for Dan. Score is corrected. Uh, a little late, I could see that one. His body was almost all done sliding at the foul line and his arm was behind himself and that'll cause the ball to stay out to the right. Nice comeback. But he's running out of boxes right now. Leaving two opens here in the fifth and sixth. A 10 and an 8. So Dave Richards with an opportunity to really put it out of reach here. He already leads by 33. Yeah, you figure with no mark here for Dave Richards, uh, Dan would probably have to put up four. And it looks oh like my. Dave is going to have the spare leave on the head pin. If you've ever seen Dave with us here before, oh my, went by it to the left. Dave always gets great mixing action on his ball. And it's... Oh, no, he gets it the same way. <laughs> Twice in a row we have shots like that. These guys got to start playing right. You go what five years and not see a shot like that. We've seen two in a row. <laughs> and now the half wish to right. Give the people in the wrong impression at home that that's the way to play those <laughs> shots. <laughs> oh, good try by Dave. Almost converted the half wister. But he'll be open. Still room for Dan Mitchell, but he's going to have to put some marks up. The 10 gains two in count. The lead now 35. really helped Dan Mitchell as a double strike here. Somewhere before the end of the game. Just slipping off to the left. seven box. They say all you have to do is hit him. He actually hit that three pin and <laughs> didn't go down. This time missing the head pin to the right. Leaving the four horsemen left. Well, he'll have to convert this to have any chance other than throwing strikes. Well, it's going to be in a double or triple strike situation depending on what Dave does. And Dave could just put it out of sight here when he comes up with the seventh and eighth frames. Good ten. Just ten box for Dan. But the two opens costly. Dave Richards has been open for four in a row, but Dan hasn't been able to make the run he had hoped for. Oh, and there's a... Oh, thought it was a strike. He's got five already. Four of them have been on the other lane, lane 31. There's the spare for Dave, his 13th mark of the match. And he's still got a shot at a 400 triple here. Needed a 129 to get there. Off the head pin, six on the fill. And leaving himself no playable wood other than two in the channel on the right, the one, seven, eight, and 10. Dave will need a couple of marks in the last two boxes in order to get his 400. But uh, he's looking in good shape in the match right now, leading by 42. And his consolation will be face <laughs> Gary Carrington next week. <laughs> oh, tough break by Dan Mitchell. 
seven, nine, ten with a six pin triangle, six, nine, ten in the right hand corner in the seven pin. Just kind of finishing it out now. Dave Richards will go on and win this one and face Gary Carrington next week. Well, I think Dan was trying to cap that wood and he just missed it. Takes the 10. Well, Dan's going to have himself a much better looking score than his first appearance here on Stars and Strikes, but it's not going to be good enough for the win against Dave Richards. Well, he's over one plateau, and that's making the show. He's tried quite a few years and finally made it. Now it's just a matter of getting on and getting that first win. And but he'll be back, I'm sure. Well, he was uh, two years between appearances almost, and it can be frustrating when you wait that long. Of course, there are a number of people who've been trying for years who've never been here, so talk to them. They'll tell you how <laughs> frustrating it can be, but you have to get over those hurdles one at a time, as Dan mentioned. So the win will go for Dave Richards, and now it's just a question of whether he'll get his 400 triple or not. He needs two marks in order to get there. He needs a 129. Nope. I think when we talk to Dave at the end of the show, he's probably not going to be real happy with this score, even though he's going to be up around 400, because it really could have been much higher. Some 8 and 105 through 9. Dave from Plastow, New Hampshire. Dave's wife Beth is here watching the show. Dave works for MVP Sports, and as Dan mentioned earlier, does a lot of his bowling right here at Park Place Lanes. Chance for a mark in the 10th here. But he will not get the uh, 400, even if he were to throw a strike here. That's 386 plus this ball. And let's see, all of them? Sure, why not? On lane 31, Dave Richards throws five strikes in the match. He had six overall, 15 marks for Dave, a 396 to a 346 for Dan Mitchell. We'll be back to talk to the bowlers, have our bonus ball contest right after these messages. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Canopin Stars and Strikes. Doug Brown with Dan Murphy. And, uh, well, Dave Richards uh, got things going early, built up the lead, and uh, Dan Mitchell made a run at him in game two, but not enough. Yeah, he seemed like he uh, got himself uh, straightened out that second game, but he just couldn't maintain it. And Dave is not the one to give a big lead to and uh, expect him to just to lay back and, and wait for you. He doesn't do that. All right, you get ready to draw that bonus ball uh, card because we're going to try for an unprecedented three winners in a row this week. But first, we're going to chat with both bowlers. First of all, Dan Mitchell. Come on up, Dan. We have a... Uh, a consolation check for you for $100 and also $25 in bonus money as well. Congratulations. Slide right in here so that we can get you on. And uh, I know you've been waiting a while to come back. Uh, the slow start uh, hurt you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When I uh, adjusted in the second string, it worked for a while, but then it threw me off the head pin in the last game. So Dave threw a real good game. Yeah, Dave does tend to keep the pressure on a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes it real hard to catch up. Well, hopefully it won't be quite as long for you when you come back the next time. We appreciate you coming to see us, and, uh, and good luck. Thank you. All right, Dan, thanks very much. Dave Richards now for our bonus ball contest. We've got uh, $20 in there because our winning streak is on the line here, two in a row. So Dan has uh, mixed up the big barrel here, and we're going to try for our third win in a row. Look out. Boy, Dave's still got that big first ball working, a nine drop. And not a match for Yvonne McLean from Lawrence, Mass. Yvonne's guess was seven, so we'll be sending her a consolation prize. And for uh, Dave Richards, slide right in here, Dave. And uh, congratulations, you got, the, uh, you got the big early lead and you're able to hold on from there. Yeah, that was the key thing, because I was, really didn't feel too comfortable in the second game, but uh, it held on. 
Now, I know uh, next week you'll come back to face Gary Carrington, and I know you've never bowled against him before. <laughs> never. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> but you'll find out before next week, probably. Most likely, yes. <laughs> Dave, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you next week as you try and go for two in a row. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank Dave Richards with the win. And uh, that sets you up for next week as uh, it'll be Dave Richards and Gary Carrington. These guys are uh, pretty good friends. They've bowled with and against each other a lot. And uh, I know they were probably looking forward to this matchup. And Dave now ensured it with the win. And both of them a lot of talent on the lanes, too. So it should be a good matchup. All right. We invite you to join us next weekend, of course, Saturday at noon. Candlepin Skins here on the Winds of New England. And then Sunday at noon back here at Park Place Lanes. It'll be Gary Carrington against Dave Richards. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole Winds of New England crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good week, everybody.